Well, I finally found it. The perfect dining room mirror. Hi everyone, Annette here from Ask Me Decor. Welcome back, and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. So in today's video, I thought I would show you my dining room. This is how it looked in different stages, different seasons, different years. I have been hanging different things above this mantle forever. I just couldn't find the right look. Everything looked nice, but it just wasn't perfect. And in my mind, I had this idea of one of those oval mirrors that has the eagle on top of it, very colonial, New England looking. And I just kept looking for one every time we'd go somewhere, like to an antique store. And then lo and behold, I found it. Now, this is it. It doesn't have an eagle on the top of it. It actually has two lovebirds and a lot of flowers, which is perfect. Both things I love and adore in my backyard, birds and flowers. So I picked this up and the, it was only $25. It had been hanging in an antique store for literally over a year. And every time I went there, I walked past it and I thought, hmm, do you think that might be it? I asked the owner if it was old. She had no idea. She thought it wasn't that old. But just looking at these tabs on the back, I thought maybe it is. Maybe the tabs give it away. I'm really not sure. It's totally made out of tin and it is like completely embossed with this flower pattern. And I wasn't sure about it. Every time I walked past it, I thought, I'm not, I don't know. Then I decided to get it. And I said to the owner, well, I'm probably not gonna ruin it if it's not old and I do want to paint it. So I got started on the painting. I wanted to clean it a little bit. So all I did was wipe it down with a wet rag that had a little bit of Dawn on it. I wanted to be careful because I didn't want to knock any of the flowers off of it or damage it in any way trying to clean it. So I just softly wiped it down. It really didn't have that much dirt on it. And once it was dry, I was able to get started with covering the mirror part of it. Now, the mirror had those big tabs and I could have just opened them up and taken the mirror out to paint it, but I was afraid I'd break them off. They really looked old to me and they looked a little fragile. So I just left the mirror on. I got some plastic bags and some painter's tape and I started the tedious process of covering the mirror part so that I could spray paint it. This took a little bit of an effort, but once I figured it out and got a way to get the tape underneath that little scalloped edge, it went pretty quick. And it was the perfect thing to do to paint it with spray paint. So I have the entire mirror covered. My tape is stuck down pretty good. Uh, I have all the edges exposed that I want to cover with the paint. And I am going to use this Krylon Metallic in a gold leaf color. I used this in my bathroom on some of the uh, drawer pulls and I really liked that tone. And I was hoping it would match the gold uh, chandelier and everything else that I have in that dining room. And it really did. I was thinking I might have to like antique that gold if it was a little too shiny, but I decided to let it like this with just the spray paint on it and see what it looked like in the room first. And I loved it. 
I think it was perfect in the room. It matches the chandelier. It stands out on my green walls. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to show you. Here's a really good look at those two lovebirds at the top of the mirror. Not the eagle I was hoping for in my mind, but they really are perfect and I do love them. So I'm happy with the way this came out. I can't wait to take the plastic and the tape off of it and take it in the room. Now I know there are those that are going to say they liked it better when it was like the copper color, but you know, it's our own personal preference. I didn't pay a lot for this at all. I'm really pleased with the gold. You know, I've been changing the things that I had hanging above that mantle in that room forever, all the years that we've owned this house. And I just never felt like it was perfect until now. This is exactly what that room needed. And I, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to decorate around it for Christmas and all the other holidays and just leave it hanging there until we move. I love it. So take a look at how great this came out. Thank you for watching everybody. Any questions, just ask me in the comments and I can't wait to see you in the next video.